All right, hello everyone. Oasis hole two par four here that we have. And um, this is the one with the uh, left fairway and the right fairway here. Um, and also that center island hop uh, for possible tailwind shots. So what I do recommend here, um, if you are to get, especially if you got it pointed to the left, if you got a tailwind pointed to the left, I would I would recommend getting aggressive. Uh, I tried it one time, and uh, I, I did not anticipate the correct amount of hook. But uh, you can see my attempt at that if you want to find it. I'm imagining you technically can probably do it with a Thor, uh, Apocalypse, Extra Mile. Um, aside from that, you're going to pretty much have to lay up here. Or, you know, you can do that approach, which is kind of beat it down there with a layup. So my opponent hit it down there so far, even though they missed the fairway. I'm assuming probably will be able to get to the green. So what you're probably going to see me do, um, as there's no real advantage to going to that middle fairway, unless you're using it as a springboard to the last fairway, is you're just going to see me lay up here. Um, kind of land it right around here. I'm not going to use much curl. I usually might just gently curl it around the corner a little bit, but since it's an angled wind, I'm just going to pretty much play this spot up uh, five-ish rings and just, you know, focus on perfect ball for the most part. Maybe just gently bring it to the right. Um, not much topspin because it is downwind, which is going to spring it forward a little bit extra. So I do want to, you know, avoid those uh, going long over this fairway. Just put it in the play, put the ball in play here. Um, it is a little bit of a longer hole, but no matter what, if I have a katana kingmaker and I drive it to where I just did, um, those those two balls will definitely be enough power. Um, the only do the only thing you do have to worry about is if I get a win like this and it's 12.4 or whatever, and I have a navigator on, uh, I might short short side myself a little bit and just try to need to put it into the green as opposed to trying to make the eagle so what you're going to see me do for this hole is i will actually go for eagle as opposed to just laying up for birdie and here you can see my opponent having a little bit of difficulties hopefully he stays in um, we will go to shootout as long as my opponent uh you know wants to um and here you can see we have you know, I, I'm a little bit shorter than I was hoping. So I do need to be a little careful here. So backspin wise, you're gonna see me, you know, kind of gently, I, I have to start because I'm already into plus yardage. So the last time you saw me play this, you probably saw me do it with a little bit, uh, you know, different approach here. But I do need to be a little bit cautious because when I push up here on the bullseye, I am going to go very close to max. And you can see I'm already into power here, so uh, I, I'm really not going to be as be able to get as precise as I want. So this just kind of reiterates the point that I was mentioning about the whole navigator situation. Oh, and there it looks like I was able to get it anyway. So no real, um, you know, there, there's definitely some luck factor into that. Don't don't think oh like I was trying. Well, obviously I was trying to do that, but. Um, But, uh, you know, there was no way that I could be precise with the methodology to that. It was more of just, you know, try to visualize and see kind of how many rings into power I needed to go. And the one time that I was just fortunate enough to be able to do that. But you've seen that the approach that I go about trying to do that shot is very similar to what you've just been seeing there. Lay up into that fairway, you know, have a decent power ball, and you can go for eagle there as opposed to birdie.